Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we uh, we have learned how to create the elements and all those things. We almost we have learned everything. So just I want to uh, before closing this one also clone node we have learned it. Just I want to recap the concepts what we have learned and then after we'll close this concept. We'll go to the new concept that is nothing but events. So events also we need to learn about the DOM events and all those things. So here I will show you a simple. Uh, example and the scenario and we will implement this scenario with the concepts what we have learned up to now okay so just a small small example which i want to tell you before wrapping up this session so here script file so this is a script file and this is our un unordered list and in this unordered list i want to add the list of li items so here let's say that i am having the list of animals okay so as an array so here we'll be having one something like dog okay and i can take another one as a cat i don't know one thing is monkey uh, lion we can take lion and uh, we can have tiger the last one what we can do is so we'll keep it as ati i don't know whether ati is an animal or not so let me know in the comments so just i'm adding the ati so it's a mysterious uh, thing which which we don't know whether it exists or not so just i've added it in the list of animals okay so here we have added this dog cat and all those things now i want to add these all the things here in the is and in the li items so how we can add this one so what what we need to do get it so here i need to show it is there as a list of items these are the list of animals i need to show it so how can we show this one so with the concepts what we have learned up to now so we need to implement this one how i can implement is for example let's say that so now what i want to do animals we are having it right first catch this ul element parent element so let ul element is equal to document dot query selector i am using the query selector if you want you can also use the get element by id also by keeping the id name or class name so we got the ul element so first i need to loop over these all the arrays right so i need to loop over these all the animals for looping over we have let animal of animals so each one will come into this animal variable so if you don't know about this looping and all those things i have explained in the javascript and ecmascript course so if you want you can follow that course you can learn these all the things so i don't want to ex I, so i am not explaining here the for loop and for each loop those all things so just we can have this for loop uh, for let animal of animals you can also use the traditional one i is equal to zero i less than that also you can use it not a problem so here animal of animals each each animal will go into this animal variable so for that one so what i need to do so here i can create an li element you can also use a constant not a problem document dot create element so document dot create element of li so i have created li sorry what is happening here yeah li and i can do li element dot text content so i need to add the text content so that too i need to add the animal and what i need to do the last one so we need to append this one to the parent so here ul element dot append child so we can use this append child what is that i need to append a ul li element that's it so now if you try to see the code see all the animals which we have uh, which we have entered in the in the array has been added as the li item so here you'll be able to see all the li items which has been appended to the parent so this is how when you get a requirement or anything so this is how we can write the code so these are all the concepts which we have learned already earlier we have learned it so this is all about the concept which i want to explain you so just simple example i want i thought of explaining this one so why because so in a, in a simple scenario in a dynamic scenario if you have these all the variables and all the things how we can overcome this for the people so if the people uh, all the people if the people all have already idea means so there is no need to see this video we can skip it off but the people who want to do is as a test or anything as a practice so you can practice this one then you will get a clear idea about this adding items removing items elements and all those things so you can do this idea uh, removing the element and all the things also you can do it so this is all about the things so let's jump to the events dom events so we will learn more about these dom events and all those things somewhat advanced concept so we'll try to learn it hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any sessions 
please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you